Hey everyone, this is Lee Hendricks and welcome to my channel about North Carolina prospecting. Uh, today I'm back in Uari and uh, uh, following Benzo around. He's got some places of interest we're checking out and uh, I found one little wiry bit earlier but not a whole lot of colors yet but I do have another target I want to show you. There's some uh, loose bedrock sticking up right here. You can see I can move it right with my shovel. So I'm going to put the camera down and see what's under here. I decided to get my tripod to show you some of that dirt on the bedrock that's sticking up. But while I'm up here, I'll take a peek and see what Benzo's up to. We had a couple little bits earlier, but uh, we still haven't gotten on any, anything too impressive yet. These big rocks before I toss them, just making sure there's no goo on them. Put some gold sticking on them. some better stuff right there. Yeah. It's accelerating, blowing it out. Yeah. Nothing big, but a good count.
I'll tell you something if you record me. Yeah, that's a, there's a blast up there. That's a nice little flake. Flash blast. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Got one nice little flake and uh, several little dots. I kind of exhausted the dirt right in here, so I moved up. Got a nice pan from there. It was sticky and gooey. A little better result than the other pans. So uh, I'll keep trying that out. Well, I've exhausted that, but it was worth uh, working. Certainly a little bit of gold there. Let's see a raccoon has been right up here. But, uh, there's a little bit of gold in this material. I'm going to run a bucket just to see how much I can sluice out of it. And uh, should be able to sluice maybe right here. I don't have to drag the bucket very far. So we'll see. I'm still digging in that little hole over there. I'm um, using this about a half inch classifier, so it's pretty big stuff. Um, that's what it looks like. It's got a lot of, you know, kind of gooey stuff in there. That's what I like to see. I guess that's maybe two thirds of the way full. So we're going to. Sluice it out and see what's in there. I just saw a nice flake. And it's starting to rain. Just like that, it stopped raining. See a nice little piece in there. Oh yeah. Let's get a closer look at that. Yeah, that's a nice little piece of gold. Last couple of buckets, that's about the norm. You can see it's not a lot of gold there, but it's enough to keep you interested. And uh, what I've been doing, there's that bad rock that slopes back. And I've just been following it down, scraping that layer and pulling it out so that I don't have to shovel off a bunch of overburden I'm at the very bottom as I scrape. And then I'm taking that back and running it through the sluice. But uh, I've still got the hole over there to fill in. 
I don't think I'm going to dig there anymore just because it's a little easier to scrape it along the edge here. Uh, but uh, Benzo is still hard at it over there. Still not a bad day. We had a lot of fun. We did a lot of jibber jabber. <laughs> but uh, sure did have a lot of fun. So. Yeah, it was a great day. We had a little rainstorms come through and cool us off a little bit too. Not yeah. too bad though. And here's that same gold uh, with a little bit of black sand cleaned out of it. Ready to be picked up and dried out. Some little red things in there. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, I'll get that out of there as well. So there's the gold after I've picked it up with the brush and got it into the little pan. Not a bad little smidge of gold. We'll burn this water off and we'll see what it weighs. All right, that's the gold dried out at uh, regular focus. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, guys, I've got the gold transferred to a little vial. I'm gonna tear out this little pan. And transfer the gold to the pan. And let's see what that weighs. Looks like a point oh eight two for the day. So Benzo, I enjoyed the day with you and uh, look forward to the next time we do a dig. Uh, everybody out there, I hope you have a good week and you'll come back next time.